welcome to another video guys uh, today we're we're doing a little bit of uh, banana preseason work so um, before we get into that make sure to throw a uh, like comment and sub and uh, yeah today we're going down to I believe it's Norwalk um, we're buying an engine off of actually the guy who bought the engine out of the silver car so um, it came out of a 91 318 so it's an e30 m42 which actually has a better style uh intake manifold for when you're boosting it because it deletes disa they just didn't have it at that point uh and it's also got shorter runners so it's a little bit more uh snappier throttle response things like that even on uh na setups people recommend it they say it gives you a bit a uh, bit better throttle response um and a little bit more power so uh, we're gonna be throwing that on. The only downside is that I have to repaint my valve covers. Alrighty, so as you can see, we dropped them off. Um, we are on our way to Stanford. All right, so we just pulled up and right out front is his uh, E30 with the M52 out of my silver car. So I'm gonna see if he's comfortable with filming. Properly uh, dismantled E36 vert. All right, and we successfully picked up the motor. So uh, sadly he was pretty busy with stuff, so didn't end up really doing too much filming there. It was pretty much in and out and he had other people there picking up a M50. So um, yeah. I uh, got the motor, 100 bucks. We're uh, on our way home, and I'll give you guys a quick walk around once I unload it. But it's pretty much a basic M42. It is an E30 model. Yo, that is sick. Hell yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got to load up the GPS, and uh, I will catch you guys when I'm back home. All right, we are back home. JZ car is looking nice. Going to be on the road soon. Got the parts coming in. Should be here, I think, Tuesday. So, update on that soon. But... Here it is, M42 out of an E30, and as you can see, the valve cover and intake manifold a little bit different, so that's an upgrade for an E36. Uh, this likes to rev higher, no DISA, so better for boost, um, and I believe larger runners with a shorter, like, uh, short ram or whatever, I don't know what you call it. Uh, so, gotta paint this, paint this, get it looking nice swap that onto the other motor. I'm going to put the engine on the motor stand because it's actually a good engine. It's only got 160,000 miles on it. So who knows, this might be the one that ends up getting built if I decide to build one. Um, but for now, it's just the spare motor, tons of extra parts and whatnot. So super stoked. Shout out Oscar. Uh, I was hyped to see the M52 still living in the E30. So once this car is running, going to have to link up with them so that we can... Uh, I don't know, reunite it with its original heart, and then uh, whatever parts are on this will be on the banana. So, um, stoked for all that, and yeah, let's get it on loaded. Today we're doing some E36 work. So uh, I got all the subframe bushings for this car, which means we're going to be making progress on it soon. Um, pretty much just have to put the bushings in, then we're going to put the subframe back up. We're going to test fit it, see how much more clearance we need for the drive shaft. And then Nils is going to be making me some custom uh, thick plates, either quarter, half inch, or one inch thick plates, I believe he said. So uh, whatever distance we are still off with the new bushings and whatnot, we're going to be able to make it work with the custom plates so this car should be on the road pretty soon um, it's at least gonna be movable very soon and then over here you can see got the hood open m42 action we got another m42 so plan for this engine is throw it on the motor stand um, we're gonna be ripping off the valve cover and the intake gonna get those either powder coated or spray paint them um, pop them on here because e30 intake manifold flows a bit better you can see it's like a straight ram style uh intake instead of this one where it does all the little extra loops um also disa is deleted on the e30 ones just didn't have it at that point so don't have to delete it where you do from this one when you turbo it and also uh for next season this car i think i'm gonna be running the phone dials all around 
um, which means I gotta make them look nice. So right now they have this kind of weird looking gray on them. It was supposed to be silver, didn't come out of the rattle can as expected, uh, but I wanna run them all around. So um, I'm gonna go grab some aircraft remover, some sandpaper. We're gonna get to stripping those down, get them look nice. We're gonna sand down the intake, make that look nice, the valve cover, all that. Um, pretty much get this thing prepped for turbo. Uh, I still have to order the manifold, get the turbo, do that, but we're slowly making progress. Uh, the past few weeks, I've pretty much just been doing research. That's why you haven't seen a whole ton of posts. Um, just been reading up on what I'm doing to this, how I'm going to do it, what I'm buying, um, how to budget for it. And yeah, we're just trying to make it work. So um, let's get cranking. Going to strip this off, get the wheels ready, run to the hardware store. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing in today's video, what I'm going to be doing in tomorrow's, but uh, pretty much a weekend of E36 work, so stay tuned. Alrighty, so jacking the engine up real quick, uh, just got to take off the clutch and flywheel, so I already popped the pressure plate and clutch off, now we just got to pop the flywheel off. Um, I'm going to throw it in the time lapse mode so that you can see a few things, but not take too long seeing it. So, taking a quick break from uh, working on the engine because I actually don't have the right size bolts to put it on the engine stand. So, uh, run to the hardware store real quick, gonna match up a bolt that I do have that fits and gonna buy three more of them. So, actually I might just buy four so that I have four matching ones, put them in a bag so that I know that they're, uh, they're gonna be the engine stand bolts for M42s. Um, while I am out and about, the hardware store is right next to my buddy's house, or buddy's shop where he has a couple E36s, um, and he has an M44 318, so I'm dropping him a head off because I have the spare M44, which I'm actually going to end up giving him the block as well, but my yard was way too mushy to drive up in the yard and pack it into the back of this thing, so um, that's going to happen at a later date, but I'm giving him the head because his seems to be overheating under load, so he might end up building this head, which would be kind of sick to see. Um, the Z3 that it came out of, Supposedly running and driving good, so hopefully when he sends it to a machine shop, the head checks out and he can have it built. And uh, yeah, I'll take some videos when we're there too. Good old Jinx E36 is 328. This thing's dumb clean. He just rebuilt the motor and stuff. Hey, there he is. to him for a hike he was definitely itching to get out of the car so uh, now he's all walked gonna go to the parts store now grab the uh, aircraft paint stripper remover whatever stuff um, and also I might just grab some spray paint while I'm there and do the valve cover either in the garage or I think tomorrow's supposed to be a little bit warmer than today but it's still only gonna be like 45 or 50 I believe so I don't know um, gonna gonna look at if they have like a sparkling blue option, uh, something in that variety. Then probably gonna end up sending it. But if not, then I don't know. We'll just order it online or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna grab that stuff and I'll catch you back when I'm at the house. Uh, so I already put the bolts in the engine stand, got the stand mounted to the engine. So as you can see, it's just kind of floating. Uh, I gotta pull the banana back. But this is what I picked up while I was out. Got some sandpaper. Got. Hopefully that's a good color blue for the valve cover. Um, then we got some aircraft remover. So what the plan is, strip these wheels down. Uh, then we're gonna try to sand them, get them looking nice, polish them. I have over there, there's a little white jar. You probably can't see it on camera, but that's some uh, metal polish. We're gonna try to make them look nice. Get the phone dials looking sick. So uh, you probably realize on the early model M42s here, the belt system is way smaller. So I gotta look in and see if you can convert that to the bigger, uh, bigger uh wheels in there um if not this is the spare motor so i guess we'll figure something out but um yeah i'm gonna drop it down on the ground once i pull this back and that'll probably be it for today but we'll see all right so that's gonna be it for uh tonight i have the m42 on the stand here we got the foam dials well two of them at least over here k 
caked up in uh, aircraft mover. So as you can see, it's kind of doing its job. It's only been on there for like 10 minutes probably. Uh, it's eating away at all the paint. So I'm gonna try to strip those down to polished and make them look real nice. Uh, run squared on this of uh, phone dials. We're gonna run squared roundels on this car. And the five series, I really don't know. Um, kind of put it on the back burner because I don't feel like dumping money into it so it's probably gonna sit like this for a little while um, if I get street tires for any of the wheels either these or the style fives or who knows might throw some other wheels on it but it's pretty much gonna stay as is for the time being and at some point we're gonna throw some 19s or something on it and stance it out so um, that's on the back burner but someday it'll happen and Main focus is turbo this car, finish the silver car. Tomorrow I gotta move all that stuff and get the silver car moving. So it's actually gonna go where the truck is. Um, Cause we have some people coming to do work in the backyard and it can't be there. So um, that'll be moving tomorrow. And uh, once I put the subframe bushings in, which I'll show you probably tomorrow as well, um, that thing's gonna be ready to hit the road. So that'll be sweet. What's up guys? So it is Sunday. Uh, I barely filmed at all today because I was honestly just grinding for a lot of the day. Um, I got the silver car off of uh, wheels because it's been sitting on wheels for about the past three years. Um, and a few more things. It's going to be ready for the road. So this video is not really focusing on that. But uh, in the next video you're definitely going to be seeing more of that car. Um, but right now we are on our way to New York, uh, and we're actually picking up a turbo for the 318. What's up guys? Sorry, I've been uh, kind of slacking, but uh, this is going to be an outro to the beginning of the Turbo M42 journey. So uh, another exciting piece of the puzzle has been picked up. We got a 2871R twisted motion. Uh, it's got an adjustable wastegate up to 14 PSI. So thing's gonna boogie um should be able to make around like 250 300 wheel uh gonna try it first on stock ecu see what happens we're gonna throw some big injectors in there the e30 uh manifold and yeah just see what happens so hopefully we make some power i'm gonna potentially do the uh coil on straight on the valve cover upgrade so that i don't have this sitting here getting hit by the turbo heat and the downpipe heat that's just gonna be a nightmare melting wires and having problems so i'm gonna keep looking into that and um also for the silver car got the green uh rev shift bushing sorry the lights are dimming here all right garage lights are on so we got the green rev shift uh rear subframe reinforcement kit jake hooked it up with a tig welder so i gotta get a bottle of argon and we're gonna be able to start welding so um bunch of fun projects should be coming soon but we're gonna start putting this all together once i get a manifold i'm talking to a guy in florida and a guy in holland we'll see who comes back cheaper with uh shipping and fabrication cost and uh go from there so um if you stayed this far you might as well throw a sub and a like and uh you're gonna be seeing some more turbo m42 action and a uh some turbo well obviously turbo 1jz e36 action very soon so stay tuned for that because that's going to be sweet and as always, peace. Sometimes with the boss and the shit, and we roll hit the cars, and it goes like, I don't wanna be lonely tonight. Don't wanna be lonely tonight. Don't wanna be lonely. So I spend some time with my homies. I don't wanna be lonely tonight. Don't wanna be lonely tonight. Don't wanna be lonely. So I go and spend some time with my motherfucking homies.